Hello there, guys, and welcome to another current household. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it, I guess. Okay. So, this is my household. Uh, four lovely, lovely ladies. They were actually all doing their homework, but, uh, Miracle and Marsha finished first. Um, I'll just introduce you guys real quick to the family. Let's get into tab mode here. This is Miracle. Little Miss Miracle Lynn. She's gorgeous. She just aged up to a teenager, uh, let's see, uh, Friday, yesterday. She's so beautiful. I love her so much. Um, and then of course, we all know Miss Zope Tell. Carson. Yeah. She has two names now. And let's just like slide on over here. I don't know where I'm going. I have to get to her. This is a uh, little Miss Martina May. Maybe if she like looks up, that'll be splendid. Martina. Look up. Martina. You know what? <laughs> okay. Let's stop doing that homework. Just, just stop for a minute. There you go. Ooh. Oh, a little too far down. This is little Miss Martina May. I think she's beautiful. Uh, I did do a little bit of editing and cast, but the only thing I did was change her eye color, as you can see. But I love her a lot, and she, her and Miracle are so gorgeous. Whoa, boob shot by accident. It's a weird face, Miracle. <laughs> You're just like, oh, you. Just like, what kind of face are you making right now? Stop it. <laughs> she looks like the devil. Uh, okay, so we're going to flip over here to Miss Marsha. Yeah. Miss Marsha Lee, I love her so much. And she has freckles. Freckles. She is adorable. Uh, she's, I can, as I can tell, it's like more of that tomboy girl, as you can see from like her little shoes down here. Her little monster feet. And then uh, Miracle has a little bunny slippers. And uh, Martina has uh, some mismatched socks. It, they can tell their personalities pretty well, I think. So we're gonna just raise up here. So yeah, this is little Marsha, and I will explain why Miranda isn't in the house right now. Okay, so Zoe did get married to Miranda. They are married right now. She's right here. And the relationship is really down because uh, right Right before uh, they got married, uh, they had uh, Miss Martina. If you guys follow my Twitter, they had little Miss Martina. And Miranda still wanted to get married. She still loves Zoe with all of her heart. And uh, she said, you know what? I can look past that. But she never really wanted kids. Uh, she wanted more of the... Uh, the job life. She wanted her life to be focused on her career and everything like that. And uh, she'd always leave really at night or really early or when she's supposed to go to work so no one would like see her because they'd be sleeping or at school or at work and she'd sneak out and go through things she's not supposed to. So let's pull up the family tree. 
Now here's so, and here is Miranda. They are married, and as you can see, there's two little extras extending from just Miranda. Now, uh, Martina and uh, Miracle are both from Zoe and Miranda. Miranda decided, though, right after their, right before, actually, right before their wedding, to commit adultery to Brennan Sutherland. He is our mailman. <laughs> That's all I have to explain of him. He's our mailman. And then they had little Miss Marcia Lee. And since, uh, you know, Miranda and so thought they were going to be together forever, they just decided to put Del Carlton as her last name. Instead of Sutherland, yeah, it's his name, Sutherland Carlton. But then she decided to have another baby with someone else, and that is no other than Katrina Caliente. Katrina. Oh, Katrina. So, Katrina is the daughter, I mean, mother of Nina Caliente and Dina Caliente. And now she has a son named Anderson. Now, uh, Zoe knows she was pregnant. She just didn't know that she gave her to the baby. A lot of arguing erupted in the household when she found out again that she committed adultery and they got married. She's still wearing her wedding ring, actually. Miranda is not. Um, so all this has happened and a lot of fighting erupted, as you can see from uh, the relationships. But yet, sometimes they would still woo together and be like, no, oh, stop it, so I know you love her, but you can't do this. But uh, yeah, that would happen. And then me, so really, really depressed. And Miranda just one night just took off. And I actually have pictures of the night she left. So just came home from work. And Miranda was just leaving the lot. And so didn't know why. She thought maybe she had forgot something at work or, you know, went to go to the grocery store to get something. But no, she just left and never came back and forgot some of her stuff. As you can see, like over here, the little uh, squid thing is over there. But yeah, she just left and never came back, leaving little Miss Marsha here with Zoe. So Zoe, being the stepmother of, of Marsha, decided, you know what, I'm going to step up like Miranda can't, and I'm going to actually become a mother to this child. And she is. She's a lot closer to Marsha than, Mar than Marsha is close with Miranda. So yeah. Now, as for the girls over here, Zoe really wants like the best for them completely. Um, Zoe, I'm just gonna read off. She is a C-lister, so she is level what is it three of the entertainer career. She can get a promotion in about a few days, probably. And so yeah. She's doing pretty good. She's trying to support. It's really hard for her, though, because they don't really get to keep that much money in the bank for a win. So it was upgrading with uh, Miranda and everything, and then the girls were coming, and all that was just a lot of work. So Miss Miracle over here has taken the role of taking care of her sisters. She's such a good sister. She helps her mom cook. She's learning to cook. And she helps her mom clean, and she makes sure she does her homework, and her sister does her homework. And sometimes she'll help with homework, or her mom will help with homework when she gets home from work. But so gets home around 11, and sometimes the girls are still awake trying to cram in that homework or extra credit. But yeah, so Miss, Miss uh, Miracle got really good grades when she was a child, and now she's a beast trying to work her way up to an A. She has to get uh, a skill to level three, and she's trying to get the piano skill to level three because she wants to become a musical genius. So I think she can do that. I think I'm going to have all the girls like follow their, uh, their thing about. I should have done that with uh, 
with Miracle as when she was a child. As when she was a child, but I I didn't. So I think I'm gonna try to do that with Martina and uh, Marsha before I decide to age them up. Because uh, Martina is older than Marsha, just in case you guys didn't know. So yeah, she also does not currently have a job. I want her to focus on school and her aspiration. And Martina, Martina is really good in school as well. She needs to get to an A before I can start working on her aspiration. And um, and she needs to get another level up to four, which uh, what would that be? That would be social. Yeah, she needs to be a social butterfly. She wants to be a social butterfly, so that made perfect sense. So yeah, she obviously does not have a job. She's in school. She's only a child. And uh, I'd say Miracle is a girly girl, but she's also, I also want her to become like athletic, but she's really artsy as well. So she's really smart when it comes to that. Uh, Middle Miss Martina. Martina is going to be like, I guess a snob when she's older. So I might give her a trait of a snob. And I forgot to share the traits. Uh, her treat is a bookworm so far. And for Miracle, her treat is genius, a muser, and a goofball. She got the genius Miranda and a goofball from Zoe. And, uh, uh, Little Miss Marsha here is a geek. We don't know where that trait came from. She got her own little trait, just like Martina did with the bookworm. So, everyone's a little geeky or knowledgeable in some sort of way, which I really like, because then they're going to be so good in school. Yeah, so, little Miss Marsha, you know, she's never met her dad at all. She's never met her dad, and she doesn't really know her mom so much from when she was little, because, you know, when she was home, she never really had too much contact with her. And then Miss Anderson, um, I want the girls to all meet Anderson. And also, if I ever go over to her household and play her for a little bit, just to see what her life is like, um, I might throw in a middle name with an M because I seem to have an M theme. Or I'll make Anderson like his middle name or something and make him like Michael or Mitchell or Mason or something like that, or throw one of those in for a middle name. I don't know, I'll figure it out. So, um, Miranda does still live in New Crest. She kind of disappeared for a little while. Uh, I kind of thought at first she would move in with uh, the, um, the Katrina girls. Right, Katrina? Is that what they're called? Caliente, Caliente sisters. Right, Caliente? Caliente. Yeah, I thought she'd move in with her. But I don't know. For now, she's like, I want so back and I want my life back, but I don't want children. So she's kind of in this position. And Zoe knows she is pregnant. She didn't know she birthed the baby yet. And she's wondering if she should try to persuade Miranda to give her the baby to take care of. She's always wanted a boy, but she doesn't know if it's going to go well with uh, Miranda and Katrina, you know. Because Katrina, knowing her, will want to be like, this is my kid, I, my only son. We need to raise him in wealth and prosperity, like my girls have. And her poor daughters. Poor daughters, that's all I'm going to say. Our daughters are going to be amazing. So yeah, this is my household so far for this month. Uh, I will try to keep everyone posted on Twitter. I will leave pictures of um, little symptoms of their life in the end of this video, like I did for the last one, and like including the wedding and everything from way before. I will do that as well. And uh, leave me some suggestions on what I should do with Stanley. The next one might still be the Patel Carlton house, but it might be the Patel Carlton Caliente house because we might go and see little Anderson. 
So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.